size of that tank. What? What? Wow. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm in South Dakota and I've got the bass bug. I was just fishing smallmouth bass in Wisconsin and I'm at a huge lake here in South Dakota that's known for smallmouth bass. It's got a ton of them and I'm gonna go fish it. It's big so it's tricky but I'm gonna be using the kayak and I'm gonna be going out about a mile out here but it's a nice calm day. Hot and sunny, as you can see, I'm gonna change here in a minute, but let's get fishing and I'll tell you more about what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna approach this fishing out here on this lake in South Dakota. So I'm cruising. It's nice and calm, but there's a lot of boat traffic, a lot of recreational traffic. The strategy I'm using here is to go to a big, long rock bar. It's a little bit early in the season for that. It's late June, but I think it'll pay off. And because it's so hot and sunny, I'm gonna go to the deep edge of that rock bar and live scope up some fish. I'm definitely cool if I catch walleyes. The limit is four, love eating walleyes. Uh, especially out of a clean lake like this. I love eating smallmouth bass, especially out of a lake like this where they're eating tons of crayfish. They have a really distinct lobster tail taste. But yeah, I'm just coming up on the rock bar now, so I'm gonna start dropping in the live scope and uh, just work in the edge of this thing. If they're up high, if they're down low, I'll find them. <laughs> yes. Ah, it's a pike. Okay. First fish of the day. Here down him so he wouldn't break me off. Nothing wrong with a little pike. Boom. Breaking the ice. That was hilarious. <laughs> I was uh, I was strolling along looking for fish. I wasn't even fishing and I saw one kind of moving and so I uh, dropped in. He immediately whipped over and hit it, but I missed him so it was clearly a pike. And I didn't want him to bite my lure off so I had to set the hook pretty quick. If you just let him swallow it, obviously that line's gonna be gone. Now I'm gone. It's fun though. Heavy fish. What do we have here? Oh, just a bigger pike. Yeah. Really nice pike. Okay. <laughs> Took me a while to get this one. He was playing with it, looking at it. <clears throat> wow, that's a big pike. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, sure got a pike in this lake. Decent pike. Holy man, look at the size of that pike. Got him on the gulp. Oh, the gulp worm. Pop the worm on there just to see if I could entice a little bit more action. Let me just show you this fish. Holy cow. 
I'm gonna have to weigh him really or measure him really quick here just to see. Put him on the bump board. I mean, this is respectable. We're looking at 27 and a half incher on the bump board. <laughs> Happened quick. He he pursued it for a while. He's got a big spawning mark on him. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that fish. Nothing wrong with a 27 inch pike on a kayak. Saw him on the live scope, worked him for a long time. He finally hit it. <sighs> wow. species it's mammoth bass south dakota it's about the size you'd expect them to be out here all right Ooh. Ooh. yeah it's toasty it's like 80 degrees out here hot for the springtime i'm gonna give you a little mid mid afternoon update um Tough to catch fish on a hot sunny day, and I've caught a couple, but it's, it's a struggle. It's a lot of work when it's tough like this. Is I just take a live scope and move around a lot and scan. Good deal. Oh yeah, walleye. <laughs> Bonus walleye. Saw school. <clears throat> they were a little far out. <laughs> they were a little far from the kayak. <laughs> but uh, I saw them. Pitched it out there. Scored one. Now we're talking mixed bag. target species yes it is <laughs> he was aggressive now they're a little small mouth bass bullseye Giant crappie. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> so painful. Thought it was a smallmouth bass. I was going to flip him up into the boat. Turns out it's like a 15 inch crappie. <sighs> Bummer. Finally. Jeez, this is a strong fish. Holy mackerel. Jeez, this is a 
Oh, definitely a fish that I want to fight. Oh yeah, just another pike, okay. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Heavy pike, holy smokes. Look at that. I mean, a little 20 incher. Whew. He's right in the school of the sunnies. It's hoping it would be a walleye. Back he goes. Not interested in filleting out Y bones today. Skinny little pike. Boom. He gone. Missed him. Oh, oh, missed him again. <laughs> There's a heavy hitter over here. We found him. Let's see if we can get him. Get him this time. Targeting. <clears throat> there we go. That's really good. I don't need the net. Just checking on that. Excellent. For this lake. <laughs> what? <clears throat> I cast it out. Hadn't even moved it yet. Oh, a nice small one. Oh, beautiful glass right here. This is what I'm here for. It's giant, really, for this area. Oh, yeah. Look at the size of that puppy. Oh, holy cow. He popped out in the net. This is a keeper. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, baby. Now that's a horse for this area, an absolute pig. I cast it, I cast out this Rapala perch color. Was just gonna mention to you that I'm gonna start trolling <laughs> and start working my way back because I'm a long ways back. And uh, I hadn't even moved the lure. This sucker came up and smashed it on the top. <laughs> Let's measure this puppy, he's heavy. And put weight on him. Uh, let's try and pinch the nose a little bit here. 18 and a half inch smallie. It's a good fish. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with that. Jeepers. Fish I 
pick up on coming back. But it's been a successful day, even if I don't catch any at this point. The batteries are all dying. So, I gotta, gotta roll out. So, in South Dakota, you can fish two rods. So, what I'm gonna do is just uh, bring up a trolling rod here. I have a casting rod that I'll just throw out ahead of the boat as I go. Like I say, just kind of work back. I'm sure I'll catch some more fish as I work back. Maybe? Oh, yeah. Oh, it popped off. Can't catch them all. <clears throat> didn't bite very hard, that particular one. He just kind of nipped it. And I didn't realize. I thought maybe it was a weed for too long. Trick. I mean, I'm still in this bay. Can't get out of this bay. What do we got here? Ooh, big old walleye. A big, just a tank of a walleye. Wow. Look at the size of that tank. What? What? Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. I love catching bigs. Oh man. Gee. Look at the size of this tank. <laughs> wow. I mean, he hit this lure way up at the top. Now that's a good fish right there. Let's measure him up. <laughs> and that's going to go 22 inches, maybe. That's a good one. Absolutely. What do we got here? Pretty good guess. 20. It's like 21 and a half if I was going to pinch the tail on it. 21 and a half is just on the border where I, don't, where I let them go versus keep them, but food price is the way they are right now. Hang on to this whale of a walleye. fishing. I mean, look at the size of this bass. Another big old bear of a bass. What? I mean, that's a tank for a small one. That's a tank. That's an absolute tank. Let's see if we got my scale. Oh, I do have my scale. This one's going on the scale for sure. Oh, we got three point four pounds okay 3.4 again for South Dakota that's a tank <laughs> all right <coughs> let's wrap this up here A lot of heavy fish on this one tonight. Beautiful 21 inch walleye. A couple of small ones. A couple of 18 inch smallmouth bass that make the other ones look small. Big fat sunny hidden in there. Can't beat it. I mean, South Dakota is amazing. It took me a long time to figure this lake out, but when I finally did, obviously, you know, I put together a good, a good package of fish. That's the key in the spring. You really just got to find those warm bays, the bays that are warming up. They're not all on the rocky points necessarily yet, but once you find them, stay on them. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah.